Hello there folks and welcome back to Species. We are about to restart our world here. We're going to import a bunch of creatures and hope that they survive here. Uh, if we take a look at the clay diagram, zoom out. Uh, right, it's almost as if everything here was deleted. I don't know how that, how they count that. Oh, look at the beautiful, oh, okay. That did not work. You know what? As we import these people, I think it was pretty warm. So we're going to cool off this world here and uh, see what happens. Because I think, if I remember correctly, these guys evolved uh, when it was pretty cold on our planet or our, our last map. Oh, these guys might actually survive. It's a bit warm here, but uh, they seem to like water because they have gills after all. We evolved these uh, in the water last time, so we'll see if they uh, if they make it through. Yes, they're doing okay. This is great. This is fantastic. In fact, I'm just gonna raise the water a little bit more. It's kind of interesting to just stare at the map here. You see that as some specimens they always wander out, but they do not seem to make it very long. Eventually, once a specimen that uh, can actually breathe air. Makes it out, I think, uh, we'll see it, but it's it's kind of cool, it's actually really cool. In the meantime, I might just raise the water level, and uh, as people have commented before, we're gonna allow them to, uh, to survive a bit longer, for them to adapt, and then eventually we'll come back, uh, see what's happened, and uh, then we can start messing with things. Because I think we're starting to get way too many, you know, mass extinction events way too early. Have they made it out? Not at all. Still one dominant species there. You know what, let's forcefully move a few individuals here and uh, hope for the best. I'll feed them a bit here and uh, then we'll see if they survive. Let's feed them again. Come on, have a child. Do, sh do stuff. So, we have successfully been able to have a population develop over here. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at that cute one. Uh, we still have the main, main main group there developing. We're going to take a look at it later. But over in this area, I actually want to place down a climate control device uh, that sets the fertility to 2. And we're going to place it, I don't know, right here. Uh, these climate control devices are quite cool. They, I mean, I know this is a hill, so we might have to move it. Uh, but I really want to see things develop in, like, around here. And then we're gonna take a couple of specimens here and drop them off in the southern part of the continent. See if they survive. It looks like they will. Alright, because I want to have, a, you know, a little bit of variation, not just one big clump here. Uh, just to see what happens. I think that they're gonna be safe. It's kind of incredible that, uh, you know, we've been simulating this for a few hours now in terms of simulation time up here. And, uh, these creatures still haven't really learned how to get off the coast. They're all gill-breathing creatures, so they always have to stay close to the water. Interesting that no one's mutated away from that yet. Ah, great. All the populations we removed have gone extinct. Oh, we're getting like gecko lizard things uh, over here, I think. Let's take a look. Oh, that's cool. I want to see where these ones develop. Looks like we finally got a group adapt to land. Let's take a look at uh, these guys here. Satellite map. Yeah, herbivore anaerobic. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna, finally going to have a land population. That said, we're finally going to place down a fence uh, that separates north and south. Uh, down up here, right? Just nor north of the lake. I might actually set a second one. Uh, like, maybe here. Like this. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Looks like the anaerobic uh, group dominated here and they're branching off into some gill-related groups. Uh, we are going to raise the water level just to 
reduce the amount of land available to these guys, but, uh, or rather, not just that, but also have a little bit of variation going on. Uh, but yeah, we have three belts here that will, that are separated. Oh, before anything develops more, I just need to showcase this. Uh, up in the north side of the continent, uh, we have these long-necked creatures. That one wasn't that cute. Uh, that one, uh, for example. Oh, so cute, just walking around. Are they herbivore? What are they? Let's take a look. It's uh, these ones? Yes, they're herbivores. And they swim and, uh, or rather, walk underwater. You know what? As we wait here, I think it's time for one of our classic time lapses. All right, folks, well, we're back here. Uh, things have changed a bit. We simulated that for, like, about two hours, I think, in terms of uh, game simulation time. Uh, now, I got a little bit worried. I actually only stopped that thing there because I saw that the population history showed that one of the population's uh, groups was actually dead. As we can see here, there's only these two branches, uh, which really, to me, means that we lost a group and... Uh, Look and behold, the middle belt is completely devoid of life, which is quite unfortunate. So, what we're going to do here is uh, definitely import a few creatures. Hopefully, this one will survive. We'll feed it, and then uh, they will have children. And that will uh, spread a, po a new population will spread throughout this entire belt here. If they make it, of course. Uh, I might have to spread them out a little bit more. Maybe for fun here, we can have uh, a little bit of a competition uh, between the, these two species, the northern group and the southern group. Oh, okay. Those don't even make it through there. Uh, what about placing you hmm, here then? Yes. Make it. Come on. What? How are you not making it? Did the child make it? Yeah, I mean, there's one specimen there that uh, seems to have made it, and the southern group did not seem to flourish over there, so we're going to leave them alone. No, okay, that little child also seems to have died. Let's, oh, autosave, and let's place you over here, come on. Here's some food, and go ahead and survive here in the northern part. Congratulations. Oh, okay, that entire population is dead. It's very interesting, but now we have uh, these red creatures, uh, kind of interesting. You know what, we're going to leave it like this, and uh, just allow it to continue simu simulating here for a while.
Oh, tragedy. It looks like, uh, as you saw there, the southern population wasn't completely eradicated. It just disappeared for n no apparent reason. Um, this means we do have to make some changes. We do have uh, significant differences here still, though. If we take a look at the clade diagrams, let's zoom out all the way. I mean, we started all the way up here today uh, by inserting these new members. Then we moved all the way down. We could see three branches. I think the first branch died off somewhere here. Then the second branch just died off here. The red ones, um, they were pretty cute. Uh, but now we have uh, these guys uh, down here. Uh, they're not very unique. They're pretty cool though. But uh, yeah, <laughs> they are all gill. They all have gills though, so they always have to stay close to water. I think uh, we're gonna have to do some changes here. The first one is going to remove the, be to remove the fences. They've been nice, but it didn't really work out as expected once those populations died off. And uh, yeah, we might have to do some more changes. I don't know what those changes are gonna be though. I'd love to hear your comments down below. I think this will have to be it for this episode. We'll see what happens in the next one. If these populations will survive, they'll flourish. And uh, if we will do something crazy with this world. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Game Gapster playing Species, Artificial Life, Real Evolution. I'll see you later. Farewell. <laughs>